Thank you for joining us for round number 16 of season three for the 2021 Martin Sports Car Club iRacing League. We are starting to close in on the end of the season here with uh, a good battle between Ali Belage and also Jesse Olson for the championship win as they keep swapping places uh, depending on who wins. This week we are at the Phillip Island Circuit in Australia and it's a hot one today. It's 112 degrees for a track temperature, um, but a cool day outside of 78 degrees and just a little bit of wind. Of course, obviously, if you've ever watched anything in live racing or been to Phillip Island, it's right next to the ocean, as you can see in the bottom corner. So there is always a decent amount of wind that comes into play. So the cars are going around and we will check on who ended up where for the race. So Ali Belage is probably on pole for, I think, the sixth time now throughout the season with a 127.3 and right behind him is Michael Day from Friend Motorsport in second place, 0.2 behind. Tom Jessen, third place qualifying, probably his best yet, um, followed by Andrew Gatorick in fourth. Vincent Sanudo, glad to have him back from Fully Sent in fifth place. Ryan Flannery in sixth. Kevin Medita, probably his best uh, qualifying as well in seventh. Justin Barrera in eighth. Craig Klein in ninth. Matt Carroll in 10th, Justin Hall in 11th, Michael Cabrera in 12th, Chris Wells in 13th, Jesse Olson not taking a time. Didn't know if he didn't have a clean uh, two laps or if he's trying to make the extra bonus points by starting in the back. And then uh, Zane Plumley also not taking the time for 15th place. So that is our grid as we know it. All right, and at this time, I forgot to do this a little sooner. So she's sitting next to me. I was just like, I gotta get it going. Uh, is Lexi Plumley my co host for this race? Hi. Hi? You didn't say your Australian word? Um, Craggy. Craggy, no. <laughs> Craggy. <laughs> Crocky, that's a big alligator. <laughs> All right, so the cars are coming around to the uh, last side of the corner. Uh, through there and we will ride along with somebody as uh lexi will pick someone to ride along with around uh lap 12 because we're doing 25 laps today because it is a little bit of a shorter track and you can see the grid lining up and the pace car is going to and there is the pace car diving off and they're going to get ready to go what's your last last comment you want to say before the race uh i'll do it later <laughs> you do it later okay all right, so Ollie in a Porsche 911 this week as opposed to the BMW M4. And a lot of guys were switching around cars this week as well. And uh, we're going to go over some new liveries uh, that uh, we're seeing out in the field today. So there it is. So there's the green flag. And man, Michael Day gets a jump on that as Ollie Belanger is regulated to second place. And Tom Jensen keeps in third. But there's uh, Tom diving in on the inside right there trying to go on the inside of uh of Ali, but Ali fights back and goes through and keeps second place as they go around this corner number two. Very slippery high end. Oh, talking about slippery. Man, I'm sorry I said that, but there was uh, Andrew Gatorick had lost the back end of that McLaren. <laughs> what do you got to say about that, Lexi? Commentator's curve. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah, I mean, the camera wasn't completely on him as we we're trying to keep the two battles going up here uh, between these two Porsche 911s between Michael. And there's Ali doing an over under. Uh, on Michael and uh, just wasn't able to get it completed in the short little stretch that they have there as they're going up uh, through to get to the top of the hill which is the highest part uh, coming up on this short straight. I don't really say straight, it's not really straight. There's a bend right through there but as they go up to this corner here there's going to be the highest point of what's going on and uh, going down into the ever so famous which is almost like a mini corkscrew right through here of uh, Lukey Heights. And uh, well, hopefully Lexi wasn't listening to that. So when she has to read it, it she says something else. <laughs> so like I said, this is a short lap for everybody. Oh, Michael Day looks like he got a slowdown. Unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to catch that and has uh, got some guys that he's holding up. And man, that puts in Justin Barrera into second place. So the Ford GT coming through very strong on the first couple laps as we go through. And uh, is in second place with the fastest lap of the race, a 131.2, faster than anybody. And he's going for the lead. He's going on the inside of turn number one, and he does have it. Justin Barrera, I think for the first time, is actually in the lead for a Martin Sports Car Club race. Oh, uh, hi. 
<laughs> what do you mean, ah, hi, you're looking at me with these big wide eyes like I'm getting all excited. I am getting excited. And you are, you're talking like a crazy person. I am a crazy person. Don't you know that by now? Um, no. <laughs> no? What makes you think I'm not crazy? Um, you ride a motorcycle? That makes me not crazy? Yeah, I'm oh. sure every person does it. Oh. I have a question. Yes. Am I the youngest commentator in history of commentators? I don't know. We'll have to look that up. So uh, sorry for the guys in behind. Uh, I know there's still a lot of good racing in the middle there. There's like five or six guys that are stuck together. But I uh, want to catch up on what's going on. Oh, blinking. Ollie. Yeah, Ollie is, is uh, blinking a little bit. I, I've noticed the last three or four weeks, uh, you know, maybe COVID got into the... Uh, the, the, the internet game. yeah the internet lines you know because there seems to be <laughs> a lot more people blinking here lately uh unfortunately so and i think uh uh i know last week it was uh, tom jessen but now it's ollie so we're gonna go ahead and switch this to justin and uh, uh he's got Hot cat. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a way to fly. so there is look at that there is <laughs> justin barrera getting a point for leading a race congratulations <laughs> and uh, throwing it. Oh, and Michael Day came back there. For a second, it was Justin Brer. Michael Day came in with a 128 flat. Uh, fastest car on the circuit right now, back into third place. Um, and there's Jesse Olsen. So Jesse had already made up 10 places by lap number three. And uh, he was starting, I think, 14th. That was. So, um, wow, I wish I had some replay. Uh, I know we can't do the replay function when we use a actual replay file. Because uh, there isn't a timestamp. Oh, Justin! Justin gets a little squirrely on the brakes going through uh, the turn number four there, and it allows Ollie to go back in front as uh, Ryan Flannery is is having some issues uh, towards the back as well. His name's going red, and we'll check on that. But now we're back to a three-way battle. But Justin Barrera goes back into the lead again, getting all that power down on that Ford GT, which he loves so much. That's a car I don't think he's ever given up on. Uh, for I, I would have to say the last uh, year and a half ever since he got into the league at Spa that one race he was racing the Ford and uh, has not has not gone any different uh, in any of these league races so you know congratulations to him and uh, he's finally get that thing so dialed in I know he works a lot on the setups as well to make it uh, suited towards his style instead of just picking up a setup and going with it so uh, congratulations to him as he's going to uh, go ahead and nab another lap but Ollie does have a good draft, but that Ford looks like it's pulling. Fastest lap. But yep, Jesse Olsen now again moving up another uh, to the fastest lap, a 127.6. So these guys are facing time. So there goes Ollie looking on the inside, uh, but uh, Justin does defend going into the next corner, setting himself up just right. How does someone get a fastest lap when they're like in fourth place? When <laughs> they're, if they're really fast, then they should be in first place. Well, because he started in the very back. So there goes Ollie side by side, but Justin is defending the inside line, and they go nice and tight through there. Jesse, Jesse puts on a move on Michael Day through that corner on the brakes and is able to take away third spot. You can see Jesse is uh, is getting better at his liveries. Uh, as you can tell that he has another new livery he's working on for the Martin Sports Car Club. I like that one a lot. What do you think of that one? Good, you're looking at me, you're not even looking at the car. <laughs> oh, whoa, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's I like cool. I like the shading, the way it goes to the blue into the back. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if Jesse, now here I am, you know, giving him extra things to do. If Jesse actually had a Dalmatian car. <laughs> she just looked at me with these huge eyes like, oh my goodness, yes. So I uh, don't know if that's in the future or maybe for the last race <laughs> of the year, maybe he'll, uh, if he has time to put one together. But right now, I mean, it's uh, it's Matt Carroll coming in here now making this a five-way battle for the lead uh, as they're going through as it looks like a second and a half covers just about everybody from first until fifth as uh, Vincent Sanudo is in sixth. Uh, unfortunately, Tom Jessen uh, fell back uh, to 12th place. He was in uh, the top three to start the race, uh, unfortunately. So he may have been one of those guys that had an issue uh, at turn number one uh, that we didn't see. We, we saw Andrew go out, uh, but we didn't, don't know if he collected Tom or not. Um, but man, there is Ollie right on the back bumper trying to get every bit of draft. <laughs> so this looks like a replay of every single lap. Ollie's going wide, Justin Barrera is defending the inside. And what that does is it allows Jesse Olsen to take an inside line and now taking a second place. He is dicing and chopping through this field like a Ginsu knife does hot 
melted butter. I mean, this is amazing. Now he's actually going for the lead with Justin Barrera. This is absolutely nuts. I can't believe this. This is an amazing race. I have not been able to take it off these front three guys the whole entire time as Jesse backs off. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ollie backs off a little bit not to get into the back of Jesse as they're coming downhill to Lukey Heights. And uh, again, Justin taking a very defensive line through everything, but is able still to get the power down uh, without having an optimal line and get through these guys. I don't know what he put in that car. I don't know if he has some like VP fuel with some like 121 octane in there, but that Ford is just railing it this week, which is just amazing. Uh, but Jesse does have a great run and he is getting some slipstream on the one of the longest straights I think we've seen in a long time. And uh, Jesse does look like he's coming up on the inside, but uh, it does not set up well to go in for the next corner, which it does give Justin to defend the inside of that as well. I would like to... Give me a break so I can breathe? <laughs> uh, yes, I would. You play Bobby Ripke. <laughs> I'm um, going to take a drink. Uh, is it okay if I give out points? You can give out points, but if you see something interesting, like these guys going at it, there goes Jesse Olsen on the inside, but again, same thing. I'm sorry, but this is so good. This is probably one of the best races that we've had. And I don't know. I mean, look at them. There's like four guys and almost five taking over. And there goes Jesse Olsen now playing the long strategy around through the back and forth corners. And now Jesse's in the lead from 14th to first, making up 13 places. Um, if he could hold on to this and he's going to lead some laps and a window race, he's going to get so many points. If he gets a clean race, he could probably sweep every single point available except for losing the most places because you can't gain and win but he's going to get a massive amount of points for the shake and bake award but ollie ollie gets by justin barrera uh pretty quickly and then is able to uh, now make sure that these two are going to give chase and this is going to be interesting i'm sure between these two guys because he here are your top two championship contenders uh for the whole entire season with just four races left i would like to give you a break <sighs> oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to give a shout out to the people who are missing. Where are you? Yeah, we only have 15 guys, uh, unfortunately. And I know some guys are on travel uh, do it for work, uh, which, which is good. I mean, I'm glad that they're working, uh, but we do, we do miss them. And I know some guys have actually changed jobs, which has made their lives uh, a little bit more busier, you know, trying to, uh, with the learning curve of their new, new job and whatnot. And uh, so, just uh, yeah, I like to have people back, but uh, we got some we got some big things planned for you know 2022 season, and I'll talk about that some other time when the racing isn't as good as it is, when I got to fill up some time. Why? Uh, never mind. Your um, name was blue. Anyway, I'll give out points. Okay. Seven hundred twenty-five. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, that's a lot of points, but I, I get it. This has been a quite an exciting race uh, for me. I, I I I don't even want to uh, change the view on this because it is going uh, so well. I don't care what's even happening. Uh, all these people are fighting for the lead. Well, of course they are. It's racing. I know, but normally it's just one or two guys, but it's been a a whole slew of people. I, I never thought that uh, that this track, Phillip Island, would allow that. So, so there you can see a real big close-up oh. <laughs> of Ollie's car looking everywhere, <laughs> left, right, center, breaking ah. there, <laughs> breaking zone. I mean, if, if you're a bug on the back of Jesse's bumper, you might want to get scared of getting squished by Ollie's front bumper <laughs> going through there. I mean, it's... Uh, and, and obviously, this this is the track that's been around for a while as well on iRacing. It's, it's one of the original scans or, or close to it. Uh, so I, I know they're, they're due for one, but it, it's been there long enough that a lot of these guys that have been on iRacing for, you know, four, five, six, seven years, some of us in the league have been here 10, and you think it'd be faster for being in the league 10 years. But uh, it's, it's something that they've raced very often for a long time, so they're very familiar with this track. And uh, oh, what you got? No, it's okay. What do you mean that's okay? You can keep talking. Oh, I am going to keep talking. So the top two have broken a second and a half or so gap over uh, Justin Barrera. You can see, but those guys are fighting really good. Uh, so there's Vincent's car. Cernito. Cernudo. Oh, I thought it was Cernito. Well, he is kind of neato. 
What? <laughs> Vincent's kind of neato. What are you talking well, about? Well, you said Sir Neato. He is neato. I don't get what you mean, oh, neato. It, ugh, it's a dad joke. <laughs> I mean, Speaking of dad jokes, where's that. Chicken Legs at? I haven't seen him in two or three weeks. <laughs> yeah, he's been missing. I know Brad's been off and on. I know he's still trying to deal with the move. Um, and uh, we do have uh, Justin Hall here back. He did take a week off, but he was able, wasn't able to make. Oh, a long rear end slide out of Michael Day. And he's, oh, he is off the track and still collects it, uh, which is great. But he does lose a spot, but he gets back with no harm, no foul. As uh, Andrew Gator it goes into pit lane, probably from an issue earlier that he had. So this is this is quite the racing uh, we got going on here. What's that? Two more laps. Also, the moment you've all been waiting for. Can you go back to the other one, the other view? Which one? Uh, the one we were just at. That one. The moment you've all been waiting for. This is my favorite view. That is? Yes. Or this one? No. The backwards one? Yes. Oh, okay. Because it's my favorite <laughs> because you can see up. Uh, it's like there's a back car right here, and then they just get up close, and then they go back, and they just turn, well, and you can hear it really loud. Kind of, kind of to paraphrase, if, oh, there goes, uh, uh, looks like uh, Matt Carroll went in the pit lane. Yep, and Michael Day. Um, oh, he passed someone. Yeah, so to uh, to kind of paraphrase, if you guys ever been to Disney World or Disneyland and and been on the uh, the Jungle Cruise, one of their corny jokes is they have is the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water, the backside of racing, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the backside of water. <laughs> taking pictures, keep taking pictures. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So moving back up front. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is, is these, wow, I mean, look at look how close they are. So there he goes, on the brakes, into, we got the coverage just in time as Ollie was able to make it through and keep that on the brakes going through. I think that's turn number four or five. Um, we'll get to that as soon as we get through that. But Jesse on the inside corner, now side by side, going up through this little wiggly straight to get up to the top part of the track uh, before they go downhill at Lukey. But the power of, you know, both these cars, you know, one is, these are actually both mid-engine now. I know the Porsche usually is a rear engine, but they, they did move it up forward enough that they do consider it a mid-engine, uh, which is weird, um, but obviously for better balance uh, as well. So both of these, you know, being uh, much, much very similar cars for this uh, kind of track that it is. It's a, it's a very flowing track, not a lot of hard braking zones, uh, but the, the, the off camber corners uh, are just absolutely, you know, crazy. And, and there's a few on here that just will you know, throw that back into round, you know, faster than you can spin a top. All right, so that puts Ollie back into the lead, so he will get a point for leading the race. So three different leaders this this race, which is great. I don't know if uh, Michael Day, when he was up front, was able to get a point or not for the first lap. I can't remember. But what you got? Uh, Shake and Bake Award. Man, I think Jesse's got this one locked in already. It's lap 11. It is lap 11. Oh, and I need to, need to get the iPad out. Oh, we need to use the I iPad know. too? You're kidding me. I know. I, I completely uh, had printed this out and uh, didn't didn't bring it home, unfortunately. So just don't tell my company that I printed a track map on company property <laughs> and company money. So <laughs> uh, we I'll put an extra, next you know, four minutes of overtime to pay for it. All right. So who do you want to ride with? I want to ride with. It's got to be one of these two guys because uh, okay, we, we yeah, can't I'd we can't that. leave these two. So um, we can go with. How about Jesse? You want to go with Jesse? I was thinking Jesse as well. His car is so cool. All right, so they are coming up uh, as you can see from the track map through there, and we can put in a battles box so you can keep an eye on what's going on uh, around the leader. So here we are with the f going around the first one. So here's Jesse. And then, <laughs> are we gonna ride in a sidecar? There we go. Or actually, we may even use. Here we use this one. There we a go. Sidecar. All right. Turn number one is. John Hinn Corner. Doin Corner, for <laughs> Mick Doin, who's a famous motorcycle rider, going into this big, gigantic, crazy hairpin. 
Uh, Southern Loop. Southern Loop, close. Uh, Into another bend right here. Stoner Corner. Yep, for Casey Stoner, another amazing motorcycle rider for Ducati who won some championships. Hogna. Uh, Honda. That's Honda Corner because it's slow like Hondas. <laughs> Don't kill me, guys, but I'm not a fan. Uh, <laughs> Siberia. Yeah, you got it. Siberia Corner. And up through this. ST7. Yeah, it doesn't ever really have a turn. <laughs> yep, into this right hander. Uh, what is it? Hold on, I got this. It's a uh, hash. I can't even see that. <laughs> I think it's hash. Hey Shed. Oh. Yep. Coming up to the top and over, which is. Lucky Heights. Lucky Heights. I'll name this one. Are, are you? Are we? Yes. Yeah, okay, it is. They just passed. The downhill. MG. Into this turn. Uh, 11 and 12. Don't have names. Go, go hurry up. Give me a name. We got it one uh, lap. Go, go, go. Pit corner. And? Uh, girl, gardener. <laughs> girl, I go, go gardener. <laughs> I said gardener. I thought you were going to say Grogu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. So there cool. is Jesse Olsen in the lead from second to last to first. Amazing drive. Now, uh, thank you for letting us ride with him. <laughs> and uh, pretty good safe bet also that we weren't, uh, that there wasn't any commentators curse as we are getting these guys again side by side. Love the lines that these guys are taking. They're trying everything for over, under, uh, above and beyond, whatever you want to name it, uh, you know, death through breaking zones or last minute breaker, last late breaker, uh, accelerator monster. And put the iPad down. I don't need a picture of me. <laughs> um, just absolutely nuts uh, with, with these guys. Uh, you can see a lot of elevation change coming up through the hill, which is which is why obviously it, it drops down so much. This corner here is if, if you get it wrong, you end up on the, the left side of the track real quick. And again, the, for some reason, right at that last little section there, you know, there's a lot less grip than there is in a lot of other corners. Uh, and it's not a, a camber thing either. So I'm not sure if that's a scan uh, or, or what that is, but just seems to be very slippery right through there, which it wasn't on some other video games. Uh, that I've been in the past uh, through there. So I don't know if it's just part of the programming or not for that area, uh, but seems seems very interesting. Um, this is, oh, can I give out points? You want, you can give out points again. These guys are just going nuts. 1,425. <laughs> 1, awesome. All right, now I know these guys are absolutely going nuts. I just want to give a quick shout out here to uh, some other guys uh, as, as they're fighting so here's uh, Kevin Medita with his new livery made by Jesse Olsen, uh, who is holding off Justin Hall uh, right now, which is, which is interesting. So um, Kevin found some speed or Justin is just trying to find a hard, you know, easy or, or finding it hard to find an easy way around Kevin Medita. So up in fifth place, so a great drive. Wait, why is it getting him. dark? Uh, cloud cover. I hope it goes away. Yep. There's uh, Tom Jessen. So, unfortunately, uh, we're still playing catch up with replays, and Tom wasn't able to keep his livery on. So that is a that's a livery that actually is catching <laughs> Lexi's eye right now. So it's, maybe it's a good thing that he uh, he did switches back to his regular livery that he has. Uh, here's Chris Wells. So this is another livery by Jesse Olson where uh, this really matches his real life Miata race car that he has. Uh, the only thing is, is his Miata has a much bigger wing on the back than this BMW shows. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, he was very, very happy to get that. Uh, today, um, Chris Wells, he is going to be called Crispy Wells. Today. Why is that? Because I feel like eating chips right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Michael kidding. Cabrera is uh, in the Man. yep. Banana Man is in the Ferrari as opposed to the Porsche. Oh, look! Look at the side of the car. It looks. Oh, he's going into the pits. Um, the side of the car. The side of the car looks like turning a little brown. Doesn't it look like that? <laughs> Hold on, I can't. <laughs> you see that right there on the side? Looks like it's turning a little brown. I don't see that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what you've been asking for all season. Yeah, but I can't see it. I need to take a closer look. 
Yep, so there's Michael Cabrera going into pit lane as uh, Craig Klein's going to come in past him for 12th place. So checking on Craig, there he is in the Porsche GT3R this week. And Andrew Gatorick. Uh Now one of his friends said, uh, he said in Discord how it would made him a livery uh, that matched the one that he was trying to make, but I don't know if this is it or this is the one he still made. So uh, we'll, we'll find out whether he's going to switch that out or, or not. Uh, I think that picture is a notice. Like, to notice his stuff. Like, that paw is round and that paw is pointy. And you can see that that is up to his paw and then that sleeve is down. Well, do you really think that that cat put a helmet on? No! <laughs> you think it was photoshopped? <laughs> Wait, what? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, here's Ryan Flannery Why from Friend it Motorsport. Why FM? <laughs> for Friend Motorsport. Oh, oh. Yep, and uh, Zane Plumley in last place having a horrible <laughs> week <laughs> this week. Unfortunately, he, I think the, the tune of his race was just drive to survive. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, he will end up in... I think uh, you're last just place running out of gas. Oh, and look at that. Commentator's <laughs> curse. Hooray! Right oh, wait, off the track. No! Yes, I know. No! Did not plan that. <laughs> no. Unfortunately. Um, so, anyway. We commentated her yourself. I did. I out-commentated my driving self. <laughs> yep, so here we go. Ollie back in the lead. I'm sorry <laughs> we missed that, but we wanted to give a shout-out at least to everybody else in the race because we have been glued to these guys which uh, have been glued together this whole entire time so coming up on lap 16 10 laps to go to get this thing rolling and jesse's got a launch out of that back corner is going to use every inch of the draft that he can there he goes pulling up side by side with these guys and into uh turn number one uh which is uh you know i'm not sure who went oh man that was a big slide coming out of uh, ollie through that corner cassie brought snacks did cassie bring snacks no she uh, did not. Did Cassie, she bring cats? bring us snacks. <laughs> she might bring us the whole cake from her birthday. I don't think I want that. I already had that for breakfast. All right, back to these guys. <laughs> and now, now it is uh, Ollie's turn to go ahead and give Jesse just uh, a, a time to be looking in his mirrors the whole entire time. Uh, Justin Brera back in third spot now, uh, but five seconds back but uh, able to keep on and, and hold on to third place, which is good. So Kevin Medita, if you saw that in the background, watching one of the other guys, he did go off on turn number three, uh, just off course a little bit. And that was uh, allowed uh, Justin Hall to get up into fourth place. And everyone else seems to be holding through as we got uh, Matt Carroll and Chris Wells going through uh, right behind uh, Vincent Cernudo as well. Glad to have him back. And uh, these two going through one of the other sections, uh, which also gets very slippery as well. So Ollie, Ollie goes into pit lane. So that gives Jesse an opportunity to focus on the road ahead of him and try to put in a really good lap to see if he can beat the out lap that uh, Ollie is going to put it. Seven more laps. I know this race is going quick because uh, it's just, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I wonder how many minutes we have left. Uh, not sure, but it goes by laps. So it's, we look at the lap time. It's about a minute and a half per lap. Oh, oh. so oh. It's, it's time to you do your math and not that new math or grouping math or whatever, like the real math. That, you what know. math? Yeah, exactly. I, um, I'm only <laughs> learning multiplication and division. Well, this is the multiplication and minute and a half times how many laps left. I don't know. Yeah, I know. You better not put that on your test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the MSCC teammates, Kevin Bede and Chris Wells, are pitting together. Not sure if they have some strategy going on uh, like they did in the last race, which worked out at Watkins Glen, uh, which so was Watkins nice. Watkins Woofs and Walks. Uh, Watkins was walking? No, Watkins Woofs and Walks. You're walking wolves? <laughs> Watkins. Watkins Woofs and Walks. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's someone named Nikki, and her last name is Watkins, and she walks dogs. Watkins, okay. woofs, and walks. What does she get paid in? Nothing. I don't think she gets paid. Wow, well, that's great. Hire her. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Justin Brer hitting pit lane. So that seems to be a majority of the guys. We can check the pit strategy. Uh, so Jesse is in pit lane, Justin's in pit lane, and uh, Tom Jessen uh, now in fourth. Uh, doesn't look like he's been to pit lane either. And Ollie pitted right before it. So we're gonna see how these guys end up. So there goes Jesse Olsen. Puts Tom Jessen up in the lead. Uh, looks like he's gonna get a point for leading a lap. So four or five different guys leading a lap. So there's Ollie. Holy cow, we got a close up on that oh one. Oh my goodness. He flew right by Jesse like he was standing still. Uh, was able to catch up uh, through the first corner. Imagine, I know you guys can't see this, so I'm just gonna show Zane. Um, I came with that. Uh, so what if there are just two cars and there was a car just going, you mean one over the other? Yeah, it's like this. So there's a car. So there's a car here, and it's going. It flies over. Yeah, it flies it, over it, and then lands on the track and just keeps driving. Well, if if they don't break <laughs> the boundaries of the track or get a cut through, I guess it still it still works. But that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> is somebody watching us? Uh, kinda. Oh, who is it? It's Cassie. Still no snacks. No. Oh Cassie, can you please get us some <laughs> snacks? No, I don't want birthday cake. Yep. Uh, can I please have some cheesies? <laughs> uh, you're a terrible snack waiter. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, so much for the commentary booth being <laughs> quiet and full of snacks. <laughs> All we got is some water this week. I don't have any more drink. Yeah, it's Sunday morning, so obviously it was a little too early to hit the bourbon uh, for me <laughs> as we uh, tried to play catch up. Uh, Lexi was out in Florida. Uh, for uh, a week ago, and uh, so we didn't want to do the commentator commentary without her. Uh, so what's that? Five more laps. Five more laps, and these guys are still going absolutely nuts. As they've Matt, been like this the whole time. Yeah, it's Vincent <laughs> and Matt both putting their fastest times going through there. Tom Jessen finally hits pit lane after leading a lap, which is good. And see where he will come out. So he's on pit exit after a very short pit stop. Uh, Vincent looks like Vincent turned oh man so from fourth place uh, Vincent did have a spin there uh, sorry about that um, bummer it was uh, just closing up but now if he doesn't get a uh, get his butt moving he's gonna have Justin Hall to contend with uh, who's moving up five spots Uh, never mind. Well, you had your hand up like you wanted to say something. And I then did. I was going to say if we could go back to Jesse and Olivia. Yeah, well, and, and here we are. And there and there they go. Go, Jesse! Whoa, and there is just a nose full of bumper right there. Oh, that might have been a small 0x contact <gasps> on that back bumper there if you saw that. Imagine if we were that close and then fire came out of it and then the car went on fire <laughs> yeah, I don't or think, it had burnt marks. I don't think it's programmed to do that um, but there let's see where where did he go yeah, look I think we're sticking our heads out the window nope looking looking for where where's Ollie <laughs> side by side I don't have I don't have a side camera yes I got a corner camera <laughs> <laughs> I've got Go, rears and front cameras, and I, I don't have a side camera for these two guys that just seem to be, want to do a whole entire lap that way. Uh, Go, Jesse! Yep, yeah, so, yeah, and, and of course he is eating this up. <laughs> so the more you cheer oh, for him, no. the better. Oh, there goes ah. Ollie! Ollie just jamming on the brakes as you see that car squirming to get slowed down for that corner. Glad he didn't uh, slide yeah. it and Go, actually Jesse. take out uh, Jesse, but... Uh, I mean, obviously, these guys are, you know, just class act drivers. Uh, they both have a, a decent amount of I rating to their name and uh, a lot of experience as well and real world experience, too, which does help. Uh, so it's, it's nice to see these two guys going at it, especially every week. Um, it, it's, it's interesting. It's better than uh, the way we used to have it where, you know, when we're just uh, starting out and there was, you know, usually... One person, I think it was Justin Katie, who was a phenomenal driver on simulation and in real world, and would come in here and just obliterate everybody. So we're all fighting for a second. So I definitely like it this way. It's, it's much more interesting and, and nice to see the, the league grow, uh, not just in numbers, but in skill level as well, uh, which, is, which is really neat. 
All right, so Jesse now a half a second back, but putting in a faster lap than Jesse that time. So as this goes through, um, let's move back to some of the other areas. Checking out some of the other guys. Uh, according to the the timing tower, we don't have anybody within a second of each other with uh, three or so laps to go, three and a half. And uh, I'm just gonna roll around here, see what's going on. Uh, everyone seems to be pretty good. I haven't seen any new banner pictures, did you? Hmm? You didn't see any new banner oh, pictures? Oh, no, 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 okay. definitely not. Hey, this is the first time. If you look closely into the glass, you can see the person's head. Yeah. Did not notice that. Yeah, oh, we're good. There, okay, there's Blanky. Craig. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those. What is two plus y equals five? Where's that at? Oh, no, but what is two plus y equals five? Two plus what equals five? Is it three? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay. Are you, are you counting laps? <laughs> um, we, oh, we've done three laps and there's yeah. an hour left. Well, you can do that on one hand. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was like... <laughs> well, good thing you got your shoes off. Dad! Well, what? In case you need you know, count your pinky toes. Too. <laughs> Fine, I'll do that. One, <laughs> two, three, four... Five. You have five pinky toes? No, I'm counting on my toes. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have ten fingers and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh boy. 13, All right. How 14, about let's 15, 15, go back to 16, racing 17, here because we finally found them. I have twenty fingers and twenty toes. Uh, what? <laughs> oh boy. I'm kidding. All right, back up to the front. Sorry about that. John, Tom Jensen puts in his fastest lap of 128.6. And uh, back up front, uh, Ollie had closed down that gap again, now to like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, uh, as Justin Barrera is just about 10 seconds back, but two seconds behind him is Matt Carroll. And let's keep an eye on that time to see if that's gonna get any less or maybe stay the same. I know Justin, his heart must be beating right now. He's thinking podium, which is great. Um, as we're going through, what camera view would you like? Uh, my favorite. Not that one? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, unfortunately, we had some uh, computer issues this morning. I spent about an hour redoing all the cameras uh, for some um, just some different angles and more close up shots and stuff and uh, had some issue with the HUD and had to restart. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, it did not save all my camera angles that I worked on, even though I did hit save track within the sim. But that's how it goes. Just happy to have you know, the ability to have the HUD up after several attempts. So we just ran with it and that's the way it's gonna go. Yeah. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, this is my favorite view. What am I drinking? Yeah. Water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's also nice about this view is you get to hear the great exhausts from some of these cars. So there is the draft taking place and going up the inside. Oh man, I keep losing these cars. I just need to quit playing with that button. Just looking, just <laughs> so, looking. So yeah, so Jesse, uh, Jesse relegated to second place as Ollie goes up the inside, was able to defend on the next two corners instead of going side by side as they're gonna go right back up and the hill. Uh, as Jesse makes another move on the inside. I just don't understand how these guys are doing this uh, going up to the top. How Jesse is able to keep the grip on that car being offline with all the marbles and everything else was able to hold on to it to get the inside corner on the slowest corner of the track. Just looking at the people drive makes me sick. Looking at the people drive? Yeah, like, looking at them drive just makes me sick. What kind of sick? I don't know. Like, like sick because they're so good it makes you sick? <laughs> That's no. the way I feel. <laughs> no, it uh, like headache sick. Oh. So close your eyes and when I nudge you to say something, just say, oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> just testing. <laughs> All right, Ollie uh, with turn one goes, oh no, contact, contact. A little bit of sliding and a little bit of side bump and off goes Ollie. Uh, how bad is that? Oh, into the barrier. Uh, not sure, hopefully he does not have a lot of damage. Uh, what's I gonna do is uh, Justin Barrera is going to catch up now, there is Justin in the background. So if Ollie's car 
does not have an issue here on the last lap. Uh, those guys going at it so hard. I uh, was surprised something did happen because they were keeping it really clean. But now Justin is all over the back of Ali as uh, Jesse Olsen now does have that 10 second gap to go forward. So uh, as long as he can keep it clean, I think he's going to walk away with this one uh, towards the end there. But uh, Justin, uh, Justin don't know if he's going to make an issue out of this with only half a lap left and his best finish he's ever had in the league with us. And uh, he does have uh, a good you know, second and a half or so back to Matt Carroll with just a half a lap left. So maybe he's got those cat-like instincts you know, going on like he does in his banner picture. <laughs> What's your head and your hands for? That's cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's test you again. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. <laughs> All right, so there's Jesse Olsen crossing the finish line, first place. Amazing drive by him. And uh, Ollie coming through, flashing the lights. And Justin, his best finish ever with the Martin Sports Car Club. So congratulations to him. Uh, we do have one more race towards the back here as uh, the two BMWs for our teammates. I don't think they're gonna get crazy with that. Neither one are in points contention with each other. So this is gonna be happy to, to finish the race uh, close to each other like that and without incident. So that's great. Uh, Craig Klein from Tennessee bringing in, uh, look at that, a top 10 for him. So that's, uh, that's great. And uh, following out with uh, Ryan, here he comes around the last time. Been kind of quiet this race, uh, unfortunately, and uh, hopefully didn't have any issues. And uh, also with uh, Chris Wells, um, we have to uh, name him Mr. Clean. Uh, that's one of his main goals is to get as many clean races as he can. Yep, followed by Michael Cabrera and that Ferrari. And here comes Andrew Gatorick. Right through there. Perfect. And Zane Plumley, 9,000 million laps back. All right. So that <laughs> does conclude our race. Uh, that's amazing. You want to do who finished where? That's cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there, there are your results. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead as we get a slow mo lap of Chris. Slow motion. Okay. First place is Jesse Olsen. Second place is Alvia Bellinger. Third place is Justin Die Bomber. Fourth place is Matt Carroll. Fifth place is Vincent Cernito. Sixth place is Mac Day. Seventh place is Justin Hall. Eighth place is Kevin Medita. Ninth place is Tom Jessen. Tenth place is Craig Klein. Eleventh place is Ryan Flannery. Twelfth place is Chris Wells. Thirteenth place is Mm, uh, this, banana man. I know we're watching a race, but it's not a race to get through the race results. <laughs> <laughs> 14 places, Andy Gatorade. Uh, 15 places, Zane Plumley. All right. Well, thank you for that in 0.3 seconds. <laughs> Wait, really? 0.3 seconds? No, it really wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, That'll amazing like race by everybody. Uh, actually, fantastic. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the broadcast mm -hmm. that we had going on today. And uh, we do have just a handful of races left to finish out the year. I believe we are at Laguna Seca next week for another 25 lapper and we're hoping that it is just as exciting as this one so please join us and if you have any uh, comments or things or questions go ahead and leave it below and we'll get back to you on that that's cool <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you again and we will see you next time it's cool